there is like the the damage <laughs> Morning, Saxon family. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. You got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. Guys, look how beautiful it currently is. Like, I am right now taken aback from this. Like, I didn't realize how beautiful it was. Like, I knew it was beautiful outside, but then I looked on the camera. I'm like, wow, this looks like a movie. By the way, um, yeah, I kind of got into a little bit of an accident last night. If you guys follow me on my Twitter, you will have known that I tweeted out that I got into a crash. I hit a deer. Thankfully, I'm fine. My car is fine. And also, the deer itself is fine. But I'm going to roll a quick clip I recorded last night from Past Jeff. So as all of you know, I haven't had the greatest luck lately while driving. Recently, I got pulled over for driving like Ricky Bobby. Well, tonight, I was driving my car and unfortunately, I hit a deer. I put out on Twitter. I want, by the way, thank you to everybody out there seeing if I was okay. Yes, I'm fine. My car is fine. And thankfully, the deer itself is fine. Just, we got little hairs left here on my car. There is like the, the damage. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice that until now when I put the light on. But yeah, that's the, the extent to the damage. I mean, we got hair all over the car itself, but thankfully I'm all right. The car is all right and also the deer itself is all right. But will my bad luck get any better? I don't know. We're gonna go back to present time Jeff. Hey, Pastor Jeff, thank you for letting me take the vlog back over right now. I kind of appreciate that. If you don't remember, a few videos ago, I posted that this ruined my car. If you have yet to go see that video, go check it out. I've had like really bad luck the past couple days. First, I uh, had that one thing happen to my car, then I got pulled over, and then I hit a deer. But at the end of the day, even though I've been having some bad luck, I'm still thankful that I have you guys a part of my life whoa what is all of this if you guys see we got a lot of black bags and uh, I know what you guys are all probably wondering yeah what is in the bag and to be honest it's nothing but clothes and these are a lot of clothes that I've had that I still need to go through and figure out what I want to keep and honestly what I want to get rid of and donate to some kind of charity. Oh my goodness, the background looks so crazy behind me right now. A few months ago, I got this new G7X and then also I got my Sony A6300, but like, dang man, this is so crispy. But yeah, I need to actually go through all these clothes and still figure out what I want, what I don't want, and basically what I can donate to a local like clothing charity. But I don't think I'm gonna actually go through all this today because, you know, time is valuable and I don't have that much time to be wasting going through clothes. I might actually be like, yo mom, you wanna do me a favor? Just go through all this stuff for me real quick. My mom is so creative. Like she literally made this design right here on her cricket mom i gotta say you are the best like honestly i think this might have to be my next tattoo i'm outside got the neighbor alec alec do me a favor pop a wheelie hey he, he did it he, he popped the wheelie now alec i got another challenge for you i need you to take that jump and jump as high as possible up oh, see you're, you're popping wheelie all right get as much height as you can on this ramp right here any moment now ladies and gentlemen here we go alec is going for the jump Oh yeah, you got some decent height. Ever since I was a kid, I was always scared of jumping on like jumps like that with a bike. So it's cool to see somebody else still do it and me not, not want anything to do with it myself. I know we showed the clip from last night, but I actually want to show it in the daylight with my car. Uh, this is where, unfortunately, the deer basically got struck. I mean, you can see some bugs and whatever, but yeah, thankfully it's just a little crack here. And uh, oh, there's another crack right there too from the deer itself. That's why that hair is literally in there, man. This is a, uh, a sad thing, guys. Like, I'm lucky. Uh, oh, yep, see, my headlights messed up, too. I did not even realize that. I'm going to have to get that snap back into place. Like, I am very lucky. Like, I know a lot of people that have hit deers, and they've totaled their cars, and I'm going to have to see if my stepdad can fix that there. I didn't realize how bad like that section actually kind of is messed up but at the end of the day i'm gonna call it and uh say that i was lucky and that the deer's lucky and my car is uh semi lucky as well last night was literally one of those like holy bleep moments when i was driving because i was coming around that bend at 50 miles per hour which is the speed limit and i you know i was starting to slow down because it was bend and then the the group of deer just came out of nowhere in front of my car and scared the the living day out of me like i I'm thankful that when I'm driving, I'm never really paying attention to my phone at all. And so to be driving and still paying attention and have that happen, man, it just, I'm lost for words because say if I was distracted while driving, 
it could have been a lot worse in my opinion and I, I don't know guys I'm uh I'm counting my blessings today because this whole thing could have been a lot worse I know on a lot uh, on Twitter some last night some people are like well why did you slam on your brakes I knew there was nobody behind on me like behind me at all like I knew the road behind me and I kind of knew the road in front of me and unfortunately a uh, problem struck I noticed another little thing like this right here is kind of popped out this was popped in and tight so what i'm gonna have to have happen now is actually have my stepdad come out here and do some work on my car now my headlight is actually misplaced and there's that like the crack yeah whatever i'm fine with the cracks i mean things happen in life but like i need this light to be even so i can see at night when i'm driving and then also i need this to be just pushed back in so it looks nice as well but like I was saying before I am very fortunate that I'm okay the deer's okay my car just took a little bit of a hit this is something that definitely makes me want to pay even more attention now when I'm driving back on down in the kitchen I actually I want to check to see if there's any food like oh whoa what what did that just yo that is absolutely crazy I want to see if there's any food right now I'm hungry like my mom's been doing a lot of meal prep to help me out uh, we got some chicken 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 who is facetiming me right now Hi, Bubba. Jake Duffner. Yo, what's good, dude? You're always filming, bro. I know, bro. Vlog life. Oh, you got the oh, yeah, I didn't even show my vlog it yet. Shoot. I, was, I forgot I was supposed to show them this, but yeah, I got the same setup as you. Sweet. Yo, but real quick, uh, do you have a tent? Do I have a tent? I think I do. Tent. Yeah, I should in the shed. You do? Yeah, I should. Yeah, dude, do you have a... What are you doing tonight? Uh, as of right now, just vlogging, bro. You know, hashtag vlog life, but... Where are you? Where are you? I'm at my parents. My sweet, bro. If you're not doing anything tonight, you want to come camping when we get out of here? I mean, yeah, where, where are we camping, though? Oh, you know we ain't just regular camping. Oh, God. We going to the Jersey Devil Woods, baby! Bro... I, uh, I don't know what to say because uh, you just said the Jersey Devil Woods, but that's the Pine Barrens in general, which is where people camp. So, yeah, I'm down to go camping. You want to come? Yeah. Where, yo, see if you have the tent, and then let me know if you can find the tent, and then you can come with us. Okay, cool. We'll probably go, we'll probably go later when the sun goes down, probably like 9, 10. All right, yeah, dude. Well, I'm down to go camping, so. All right, word. All right, peace, All right, homie. Bro. Well, look at that, guys. We're going camping. I forgot to tell you this. It was on my mind for the whole entire vlog. I was like, yeah, I got to show them the uh, new setup for the G7X here. Let's come on into the bathroom real quick. But boom, boom, as you guys see, this is the same exact setup I showed in the last vlog of uh, what Jake had. I was like, yeah, how cool would it be? Boom, look, all this comes out. It's pretty cool. So you got a tripod. You got an L-shaped, like, uh, hook bracket here. And then this little thing right here is a light. So at night, I can vlog. So I'm excited about this, but the better part is right here where my G7X is, it can actually come off and switch out to my Sony A60, uh, A6300. So then, you know, I can have more of a zoom too in case. So I don't know if I'm going to bring the G7X now tonight camping or if I'm going to bring the Sony. I don't, I don't know yet. Probably the Sony because I like to have a zoom and uh, not having a zoom kind of sinks. But when you have a zoom, you know, you can change the whole course of a video up. Off to the backyard, we got Rex and we got Willow. And we got a bunch of chickens over here, guys. Yeah, so I'm on my way currently to the shed. I need to find the tent. Uh, I should have one. I haven't lived here in a long time. So hopefully the tent is still in the shed and I can get this gate to open on up. But that's going to be helpful, I guess, for camping is to be able to be in a tent. But yeah, as you guys see, we got the chickens, we got the ducks, and then we got even more baby chickens in there. Oh, look how cute they are. Look how cute they are. Okay, let's open this up. We're gonna shut this. Okay, that is now shut. Let's come on into the chicken coop. Hi. There's like 11 chickens, baby chickens or chicks. So as you guys can see, there, there's three, six. Where are the rest just hidden? Are they, oh, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have all 11, that's so cool. Hi, how are you guys doing today? Hi, say hi to YouTube. Look at that guys, just a bunch of chickens hanging on out. Okay, I'm done being distracted by your guys' cuteness and all. I'm gonna go do what I need to do, why I came out here in the first place. And that is actually 
find the tent in the shed. So yeah, let's lock that up. Boom. Oh, one of my favorite signs, caution, area patrolled by attack chickens. So that is always a plus. We have attack chickens, guys. Now we're in the shed and uh, oh boy, this is going to be fun trying to find it. I, I got my hockey gear. That's a plus, but I don't know where the tent is. So I'm going to pick the vlog back up and I'm going to let you guys know when I find the tent or if I find the tent or if I don't find the tent. A little bit of an update. I have yet to still be able to find the tent, but I did find the pool from when we did the last to leave the ice pool or whatever video back in like December or November here on the channel. If you guys haven't seen that video, I suggest go checking that out. That was actually done with Jake too. That was a fun video. That was a couple days of uh, some really good fun videos we did here on the channel. But I cannot find the flipping tent. I need the tent. Well, some bad news about the tent. I actually have to FaceTime Jake and tell him this. But my stepdad threw it out. So, Siri, FaceTime Jake Duffner. Yo, bro, bad news. What? My stepdad threw the tent out. No way. Yeah. Bro, but you get a tent for like $20, not even at Walmart. Really? Yeah. They're fairly cheap. Damn. Yeah, I know, bro. You try to finesse, but looks like you have to go to Walmart. <sighs> Alright. So. Yo, okay. Are you near Walmart right now? No, nah, I'm actually about to start doing repairs to the car. Damn. So. Alright, All right, bro. Alright. I'll let you know if I can find one. If they're out of stock, I'm gonna be pissed. Uh, they should have them. Walmart usually will have tents. Yeah. Walmart right, tends bro. to have everything, so. I'll keep you updated. Alright. Peace, bro. I still am low key excited to go camping though. Hey, Marshall. Hello, oh, bro. You should know by now to knock on my door. I know, I'm sorry. Oh, no. Man. Hi, Marsh. How are you? Oh, uh, it's okay. See? He calmed down. He knew it was me, so. Yo, where are we going camping tonight at? You already know, man. Wait. Where, really? Jersey Devil Woods. We're gonna go get, um, tent, though. You still didn't get a tent after I told you I didn't have one? Uh-huh. Bro. I've been just playing my video games. Playing? What have you been playing? Fortnite? Apex? Apex. Man. Too bad you poop at the game. <laughs> I know, guys. I wish I could curse, but I can't, so... I'll pick the video back up in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and we're off to a good start for tonight. <laughs> oh man, I'm uh I'm looking forward for this. Hey Jake, what do you got there? Got a bunch of uh blankets, pillows. Gotta go get a tent right now. Yeah? yeah. We're gonna uh cuddle on up tonight. Dude, it's actually pretty cold, it's way cooler than I expected. I know bro. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that Duffner brand though is keeping you pretty warm though. I heard that yeah, stuff's like pretty fire. Different sweatshirts. That Bro. 80 different Duffner brand sweatshirts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, don't go to Duffner brand. Go to Saxon.com. You filmed your forehead like as you said that. Yeah, I, I know. I get it. I'm the worst vlogger ever. Hashtag vlog life. Right, Adam here? Right. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to pick this back up later. It's freezing cold. I guess I'm designated driver. I've just had bad luck driving lately. So, you guys, you want me to drive tonight? Like, yeah. I've just had bad luck. It's all right. You can't fit in the Rari. Oh, what are you calling me fat? That and it's only a two seater. That, what? I mean, uh, it's only a two seater. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna pick this back up later. Like 85 different Snickerdoodles. Upstairs. Yeah. Well, because no. Whose they're... cookies are these? I've never seen anybody more happy to pick up cookies than Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't cookies. They were granola bars. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna pick this back up in a bit. Adamir is currently getting the tent set up. Jake is doing a great job holding my uh, Seek Reveal thermal imaging camera with the flashlight, giving us some light. All right, for real, though, I need help. Yeah, I'll, I'll help you in a second, man. Guys, I'm going to close off the video for tonight. As you guys can tell, I had to throw a different hoodie on. It is freezing cold, so I got two hoodies on right now. I want to say it's like 30 degrees outside. But, uh, yeah, I just want to say, Sax family, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you guys want to see us camp in the woods, check out Jake Duffner's channel. Link is in the video description. But until next time, I'll catch you guys up. Peace.